Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a really cool video editor that is actually free called DaVinci Resolve, and you're probably looking at it and thinking, wow, this is actually pretty complex. There's a lot of things here, which there are. Um, how could this possibly be free? And honestly, uh, from the business side, I don't know how they offer this many features. They do have a premium version called DaVinci Resolve Studio, which allows you to export I think it's up to like uh, 4K resolution and 120 FPS, but the uh, the basic version, the free version, is up to 1080p at 60 FPS, which is usually as high as you would do in something like a YouTube video, which I'm guessing, because this is going to be on YouTube and VidMe and all that, is what a lot of people are interested in. So. Uh, really, there's no immediate downside to just going with the free version. There's no watermarks on your videos, which some other video editors like to add in until you upgrade. Um, and most of the basic transition effects that you would expect in a good video editor are actually there. Now, the pro version, of course, has some extra ones, but for basic video editing, I mean, you're going to have just about everything you need. Uh, let me see if I can actually go over here to the effects library and show you. So video transitions, you would want to have stuff besides just a basic fade. You have quite a bit here. A lot of different shapes for uh, transitioning between one cut to another one. Audio transitions, if you want to fade between two clips of audio, um, for instance, two songs, creating titles uh, for your screen. Um, and that kind of stuff, it all exists there uh, out of the box. Um, as far as the timeline for the video editor goes, it's also really solid. I, I would probably say one of the best I've seen, just period, uh, at least comparable to Adobe Premiere. Um, so you have tools like the trim tool. So if you have two clips, let me see if I can actually create two separate clips here with the razor tool, which is right over here. That's how you kind of make your cut slicing the video in half. So if you want to take, uh, let's say the first couple seconds of this and trim it we can just kind of click on the clip and drag it until we get it to where it needs to be and you can see it's actually very very responsive i don't have like a beast machine or anything uh, i'm running on like eight gigs of ram and that's while i am simultaneously recording using obs so it's a pretty responsive video editor uh, if we go to the uh, actual system performance i, I saw it at 1.5 gigs of memory earlier right now it's using 900 so some really useful components of what's going on in the timeline include thumbnail previews of the different parts of your video clip. So you can see how uh, it's changing all the way along. Um, so basically, you know where you're cutting before you even click on the video and hit play. If you do decide to hit play on your video, um, you can easily make it go at double speed by hitting L. That's kind of uh, the same effect you would see in Adobe Premiere quadra speed and uh although you can't hear it right now because i have the sound muted on my computer um the sound that comes out of times two times four speed or at least times two speed sounds really well it's actually quite understandable uh, some other video editors they do have that effect where you can uh kind of scrub through the clip at times two or faster speed but then it's completely ununderstandable not so in davinci resolve so that's actually really good um, also, in your audio clips, you can see down here, uh, this is kind of more of a feature I would just expect these days, but it's kind of critical. Um, your audio levels are going to be showing here, obviously, for the audio levels for this clip, uh, which was actually my first recording of this video. Um, you can see the audio levels are kind of low, would need to be amplified and that kind of thing, but um, probably more important than just seeing how the audio levels are low, you can also see where you start talking when you end talking. So it would be very easy to pick out some parts that you might want to slice up with the razor tool over here. So you can toggle that by hitting B on your keyboard and then you do a slice and it's going to take a second to regenerate the thumbnails and you click another time and you got the part you wanted to delete. So we can actually right click on that, do a ripple cut and you can see in this menu, there's actually a tremendous more um, actual options here that are available in most other free video editors. Like most of the time, you're just going to come over here and you're going to do like a ripple delete. Um, but there's other features there if you want to play around with it, get more advanced um, if you're doing anything in the realm of professional video editing anyway. So that's cool. And you can also see that in each of these menus, they have a lot of different functions set up. 
Um, definitely more than just about any free video editor I have seen and very comparable to something like Adobe Premiere. Uh, or I guess back in the day, uh, Sony Vegas, but it's been a long time since I've played around with versions of that. So uh, besides just the basic video editing, let's see here. You also have a couple other components. So the color screen, uh, I haven't really played around with much in here, but I guess if you wanted to do some color correction in the video clips you have going on there, you have quite a few settings available here. Um, and something that I would be probably more akin to using is actually Fairlight. So over here you can record audio clips after you've already put in all of your video clips. So if you're doing like a commentary, which is the kind of thing I like to do, um, you can easily record to uh, current or new tracks inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, um, Adobe Premiere also has that feature. So that's kind of where I think, oh yeah, this is something I'm kind of used to, uh, something that's good for the workflow. Because if you can actually record your audio inside of DaVinci Resolve, then you don't have to necessarily use other programs like, um, uh, shoot, let's see, Audacity, which is another free program and it's a great program, but having to use multiple programs to get the output is a little bit of a pain. Whereas if you can do it all within one, that's pretty nice. And then we go over to the deliver section and you can see that you can pretty much customize your render settings to what you want them to be. They have presets for YouTube and Vimeo, which is uh, probably what most people are gonna be using, uh, YouTube or Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo being kind of, from what I've seen on the site, more targeted towards kind of more professional types, uh, like animators or uh, people who are doing serious videos. Um, Jeez, I, I don't know what you would call it. It's things that are above the level of a YouTube video. Um, and then, of course, you have the YouTube settings. So you come down here after you've chosen kind of your base format. And you can change from uh, the QuickTime.move to other formats like uh, MP4 using H.264 codec, which is probably what most people want to use. I've always kind of uh, thought of that as the best option for getting videos out there on the internet, it tends to be pretty space efficient, a lot more so than dot .move anyway. Um, and you've also got other types like AVI, tend to play around with it. They're pretty standard, but much better than having just one or two available there. Uh, you can set up the quality for your video. You can kind of see uh, it, it defaults to pretty high settings, 10,000 kilobits per second as the bit rate. Um, probably more than you would be needing if you were recording a video in OBS or streaming a video in OBS at least. But um, those quality settings kind of more targeted towards if you're trying to put out a really good looking video or something that's got a lot of things going on, maybe you were recording it with uh, a HD camera that costs one or two thousand bucks, then that's when you need those settings up there. But um, you can also just lower it down to something like medium if you're just doing a screencast video like I am and uh, you'd get good results out of that. So um, something that I would say more full-featured video editors have um, is a render queue. Um, so this is a useful thing to have if you are going to do multiple videos in the same day and you don't want to sit around for all of them to basically render because that's the part that takes a lot of computer time where you can't really do much else with your computer. Um, so the render queue, you, let's say you made four videos but you haven't exported them yet you just add them to the queue, add them to the queue, and then when you're ready uh, across your projects, you start the render, you get four videos exported at once, and you can just walk away from your computer or something like that and grab lunch. It's a useful thing, um, especially if your videos are gonna be quite long or have to have those high quality settings because you, were, you wanna get as much detail as possible in the final video output. Uh, so yeah, all of that is what makes a really powerful free video editor. Honestly, um, I am very surprised that they're able to offer what is available here for free. Um, it's what I would expect out of paid programs like Adobe Premiere. So if you're looking for a really solid free video editor, I don't think you're gonna be able to go wrong with DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's a very responsive tool. It's got a ton of features. Um, they don't give you any watermarks, so it's a full featured free version, and that's just really, really amazing. So honestly, I think that DaVinci Resolve, um, from, what, from what I've seen, and I've probably used five or six different video editors in the last year or so, 
DaVinci Resolve might be the best free video editor in 2017, so uh, definitely give it a shot. I don't think you'll go wrong with it. Um, in any case, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this introduction video to DaVinci Resolve, and I will see you guys in my 